Okay, um, I'm back. Uh, I got the sump off, um, and it took a uh, 3 8 inch uh, socket to get the screw, uh, the bolts off, and I had to take the valve cover off to push the uh, rods, the push rods up. And make them stay. Uh, as you can see, there's some oil in there still. I I should have drained it out, but I I didn't. I I figured I set the engine on the side, and the oil won't spill out. But uh, it's as long as it doesn't spill, it's all right. I'll drain it after anyway. And here's the old one. I gotta. The new one came with the new com uh, compression release uh, spring, and so I got to get the. Here's the new camshaft, and I'll try to get this on with one hand. I'll show you how to do that. This will go in to that hole there, the compression release. There's a hole right next to the inner part of the camshaft. And you see that little notch right there. This little notch will fall back on that. Just like that. Then what we do is let's get the spring on. Here's the little spring. I don't know if you can see that, but that goes on there. You have to lift this the compression release up to get the spring up up underneath. Actually, I'll do it while it's off. Just like that. Just drop it in there. In this. That piece. It was right in that hole there. Actually, what it'll do is lift it up a little bit, get it in that hole. And then uh, drop it in there like that. There you go. See how that releases back? And then this uh, thrust washer goes over that. Like that. And let me position the camera a little better. And I'll show you how to. Try to do this with one hand. Okay, so what you got to do is uh, you see 
there will be a mark, a little notch coming out of the uh, the camshaft on the in between two teeth. See that little mark there? You, it's kind of a bump there. You can see it's in between the two teeth. Okay, so that's got to line up with with the mark on the crankshaft, which is right there. If you can see it, right there. It's on one tooth. So that right there. So that and this have got to line up with each other, and uh, you got to get it in that hole in there. So I got to turn the crankshaft a little bit. Oh, it's not lined up, but now that's lined up right there. See that? All right, now we got to get the sump on. I'll try to get do that with one hand. I'm gonna pull this pulley back. First, uh, let's see. Let's get the uh, let's get the push rods down. back and I'll, I'll have to adjust the push rods or the the valves with the gauge a filler gauge Okay, we got the push rods on, the valves, the rockers. I'll adjust that later when I'm done with this. So, let's get the sump back on. Line it. Okay, that's on there, and you gotta torque these down. These these bolts. And uh, you gotta put the pulley on the on the crankshaft. We've got the pulley right there. 
Let's get the hex screw. And that goes right on. Right on there. See how that. There's a key in there that lines with that right there. Alright, well, uh, when I get this back together, I'll uh, come back.